Hello and welcome to this video about the Carry Audio CD 303200, which, as it says on the front, is a 24-bit 96 kilohertz HD CD player. And those who watch my channel already know that I really love those Bob Brown um, PCM1704 um, resistor ladder ducts. And uh, I really love the Pacific Microsonics HD CD filters like that uh, PMD200, which is a later one. And, um, well, like, like Vadia, my current favorite brand of, of CD player, Carry also does digital signal processing prior to its entry into the DAC. So obviously there were quite a few of those American manufacturers that, um, that did that. Well, how does it sound? Well, I have no idea how it sounds because it's dead. It's dead because it was a 110 volt unit that somebody applied 240 volts to. I mean, somebody, the owner. And had he removed the cover and looked at the power board, he would have found out that there is a two sets of fuse holders and on the uh, two fuses. So had he moved those fuses to where they are now, it probably would have been all right. This is like um, a high voltage settings for 240 or 220 to 240, and the other one is 100 to 120. So um, what I have for certain is that transformer is open circuit and of course that transformer supplies 5 volts there uh, and that 5 volts travels to the smart board but I think all the way up is a uh, control signal that turns on the relay to turn on the thing but that doesn't happen. I'm sort of tempted to supply 5 volts there and to see what happens but I'd rather ask Kerry first for a diagram or, or, or some info on um, how to proceed or whether that, uh, or whether that transformer can be uh, sourced. I mean, it has a very elaborate part number there, which is currently out of focus. Um, the R-Core appears to be all right, has continuity on both ends, and, and one of the primaries is 20 ohms, the other one 50. So, you know, that, that appears to be uh, um, okay, and also the secondaries are good. Um, to tell you more about it, from what I can gather, it has quite a few um, regulators. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I can see on that board um, alone. And there's a ninth one there, so it's, uh, you know, a proper unit. Not a winner in regulator wars, but still... Um, uh, a decent amount. Good self screening, you sort of know about every component or it doesn't tell you um, that much, although it does say a few things for, for, for troubleshooting there on the, on the smart boards. Um, it has both output and input, so it has digital inputs uh, and um, you know it's a good thing, you know, having a good DAC and, and, uh, and why not? And from what I can see here, you can select that input, but also up convert to 2496, whatever you do. Possibly even uh, CD signal, but, but I'm just speculating uh, there. So overall, it's a very good unit. Um, those more observant of you have noticed that it's a nice uh, uh, aluminium tray machine from a single billet. Um, the mechanism is, however, unremarkable. It's a Philips um, 1202, you know, but, uh, well, it probably reads CDs well, and, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure that it is a uh, mean performer, and I hope to, to get it going um, one day when I get some info. Oh, or maybe has somebody has any, any experience, you know, whether putting a 5 volts on there from one of the 5 volts from my, um, uh, from that board, whether that would actually spring it to action and, uh, you know, it's only on really that transformer. It's probably, I don't know, 8 or 9 volts maybe on the secondary, hard to say at this stage. Well, thank you very much uh, for your attention and until the next one. Bye-bye.